Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pagey, here once again with another video on just some DC TV. You know, I guess from the past, but maybe the future? Question mark? So as some of you would know, the CW officially dropped their role, at least, in the development of the John Diggle-led spin-off in the DC Universe, and originally from the Arrowverse, that being Justice U. Of course, as I just said, it was originally announced to be a part of the Arrowverse and be on the Earth Prime, or be on the Earth, that being Earth Prime, that like the Flash, Arrow, all of them were set on. But then it appeared that the plans changed, and if it was picked up, it would be on the Earth that Superman and Lois is currently set on. Though, with the setting of, you know, leading a group of metahuman teenagers, it felt more suitable to be on Earth Prime, where metas were a constant and common thing for the most part, rather than Superman and Lois' Earth, where it's a big, big rarity. It just seemed smarter to have it on Earth Prime, even if all the other shows had ended. But Superman and Lois is potentially where, it, you know, or Superman and Lois' Earth is where it potentially would have been if picked up. But regardless, David Ramsey, who has played John Deagle for more than 10 years now on TV, did open up recently about the cancelled plans for his Green Lantern on TV that were legitimately going to happen, apparently according to him, as well as some finer details about the dropped Justice U spin-off. Now, this interview was uh, done by The Cosmic Circus, so shout out to them. But yeah, throughout the video, let me know your opinions on some of David Ramsey's replies here and how he, uh, you know, certain details he gives out. Very interested to see what people think and, uh, you know, where do you think Justice U may have a shot? Because he does bring up in this interview, it's not officially done. It's just the CW doesn't want any, that has no interest in it. So yeah, let me know your thoughts on all the stuff we go over in this video in the comments. And of course, if you're going to enjoy the video, want to show support, drop a like on the video. It takes two seconds. So firstly, David was asked if he actually wanted to play in that Greenland sandbox. And this was his reply. Yes, yeah, so I think we successfully teased it for a number of years. The fans were expecting something. And I think, you know, there are a lot of reasons why things don't happen. You know, it's kind of like, do you have a week for me to talk about this? There's so many things above my pay grade that happened that you will never know. That happened behind closed doors and that's fine. But yeah, I just think to answer your question, it would have been great to put on the ring and put my feet into the boots of Jon Stewart. Now, the big thing around this is that when this was originally announced, the spinoff, but just before it, there of course was like Crisis and some of the stuff around that. And of course, at the end of Arrow, which just surely followed Crisis in the Arrow series finale, that's when like the box landed in front of uh, Deagle as he was leaving Star City. Now, it was said at that point that there was like legitimate plans and that the plan was for Green Lantern. Now, the way that they were able to do that thing in the Arrow series finale is that DC gave them the go ahead that they could do that. But I think maybe they just got ahead of themselves like, okay, well, they let us do this. Surely they'll let us go the step further and he'll be able to do some Green Lantern stuff. And of course, you know, sometimes you just get ahead of yourself. And in this situation, it seems like that was the case. But originally, they had the full-on intention that that was going to happen. They were like, yeah, we're definitely going to do this. Let's jump into it in the RA series finale and tease fans, you know, tease fans for you know, what could come their way in you know, X amount of months or something or maybe a year from now on one of the other shows or like a spin-off like Justice U. Now, the loophole around this could have easily been the fact that he isn't John Stewart. Of course, his stepfather's surname is Stewart and his first name is John, but his name is John Diggle. So, it would be like a John Stewart like character, but it's not it's not John Stewart at the same time because it's not like the Green Lantern thing was completely barred from TV. Because we look at Star Girl, they were able to use Green Lantern, but it was a lesser known Green Lantern in the form of Jenny Lynn Hayden. It wasn't Alan Scott like you know the previous Green Lantern in that universe was. So I think it just comes down to licensing stuff and what characters are allowed on TV and not. And I think with the John Diggle stuff, even though he wasn't John Stewart, they were pretty much making him into the TV John Stewart. And I just don't think DC was going to allow that. So licensing stuff just got in the way. So yeah, I think that's just really what just killed that ever happening. But David was then asked, did you know then that you weren't going to become Green Lantern? Oh, no, 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 not at all. There was, no, that was a legit plan. But you know, things change. And I don't know if it's unfortunate because I'm a fan of the genre. I think that anytime you do superhero content and it's good, it's good for all superhero content, right? So I'm kind of excited to see what James Gunn and team will do with Green Lantern and Superman and Flash. I'm excited about all that. Will I be a part of it in its current iteration? Probably not, but who knows what happens down the line. And again, man, I'm a fan of the genre. So there's some disappointment, but at the same time, I'm excited to see what happens next. So he even sort of pushes forward that like, yeah, there was, there was plans there and everything like that. And it was a legit plan. That's what he specifically says there. Like we said before, it was a legitimate plan that they were going to push forward, but 
things change and things happen and happen and change quickly in the game of this big genre stuff where one day you're allowed to do something the next day you've got to stop it i mean we've had all experiences previously with like those like earlier seasons of arrow like you know when seasons three and four when like they're using a character they seem good and the next minute they have to kill off the character because the movies are using them or they're not allowed to use the character in that medium anymore so it's just a difficult thing and it seems like this is a situation where the difficulties came up again. So it's unfortunate. It would have been cool to see Diggle even just for one episode or one moment put on the ring and do something, but we never got it, unfortunately. But then David was asked about the CW passing on Justice U, and this is what he had to say. Yeah, unfortunately, you're right. CW decided to pass on all their shows in development. Justice U is one of them. Would it have been great? Of course. I think Diggle has a lot of story left, Lantern Ring or not. But then again, there is Superman and Lois, which again, the CW hasn't made a decision on. A version of John Diggle does exist within that mythos. We'll see what happens there. Now, this is interesting because like Diggle, or not Diggle, sorry, David Ramsey has talked about how there were, I think, a couple of iterations of the pilot script because I think the initial pilot script that they had for this show was set in the Arrowverse. And my original idea for the show or thought on the show is that it would have been very, very, very cool on Earth Prime, in my opinion, because you could have had guest characters from previous shows that come in to sort of assist in them, whether it's, you know, whatever the episode is. You know, and I guess it could have potentially just turned into a like a, a revolving door of cameos or guest stars potentially, but that's what the show could have been and it could have sort of, you know, based itself off that pretty much, but also build you to carry on the story of Diggle, but also meet these new characters, whoever they might be. So I think that initial version of the show was probably the one that could have been the best, but it also would have been very interesting to see what the next iteration would have been that was clearly meant to be on Superman and Lois' Earth because it would have been much different from whatever the original version was because we know that Superman and Lois' Earth doesn't really have that many, many humans, let alone like ones that are easy for Diggle to find and everything like that. So that would have been a very interesting thing and may have been a bit more undercover uh, maybe a bit more, a bit more of like a secret spy sort of thing potentially, or like a government-based one. They, I think they would have been very different shows on each Earth. But he does in that sort of section go on to talk about just Diggle and that Diggle still exists within the Superman and Lois mythos and everything like that. Now, it's sort of confusing because I think last season of Superman and Lois clearly set up Diggle to be a part of this season, like actually showing up. And even at the end of last season, like well, in, in between season two and three, David Ramsey openly talked about at conventions that, yeah, he's going to be in like in season three of Superman Lois and not just in one episode, he'd be showing up like an, an, almost like a recurring character. But as we know, we are almost towards the end of Superman and Lois' third season and he hasn't showed up once. He's just been mentioned like two or three times or something like that. Now, apparently he was supposed to appear, appear in this season. That's why David Ramsey was talking about it between seasons that he was meant to be going, you know, that he would be showing up, but plans have changed. Now, apparently it's because of budget that they don't want to actually pay for David Ramsey because he'd actually be probably a bit more of, an, of an expensive guest star because he's established. He's, he's Diggle. Like he's Diggle. Everyone knows who Diggle is. So he's expensive and it's not just for one episode it's multiple that was the plan so they're just name dropping him here and there to keep him somewhat relevant and maybe there could be a random cameo or you know surprise appearance come the end of the you know the season like a finale thing but he was meant to show up more apparently so it's unfortunate that things change seems it was like the cw or next star cutting budget um so yeah it's a shame that we didn't get to continue that this version of deagle showing up uh, especially because it seemed like he was going to be pretty relevant to the story. And finally, David was asked if he actually knew of any of the characters that were supposed to be on Justice U besides Diggle, anyone from the comics? And this is what he said. There were a few, but I'm still not at liberty to talk about that. And the reason why is because it belongs to Warner Brothers. Even though it was Warner Brothers produced for CW, it's still a Warner Brothers show, and I'm not quite sure what they're going to do with that. I know that the C I know what the CW decided to, to do, but I don't know what Warner Brothers is going to do. So this is pretty much him saying that he's still look at an NDA, it's still under contract where it's still a Warner Brothers show in development, though the place where it was intended to go, that being the CW, has passed in it. So yeah, I don't know who the comic characters would have been. Apparently it was meant to be like teenage metahuman. So they probably would have picked some like pretty like niche ones, but they probably would have picked like, let's say there was meant to be five or something metahuman teenagers, at least based on the original idea for the show. Maybe three of them were from the comics and two of them could have been original characters. That's That might have been the road that they're going to go down. But this could be something that like in a year or two where I think maybe they officially kill the project off where he could talk about it. But for now, where it's just been, been recently dropped by the CW and just sort of like lingering in that development area for Warner Brothers, he's not going to talk about it because he might also ruin the slim, slim chances that it hasn't been picked up. Because the thing is, is that my prediction for Superman Lois, and I think that Justice U, if it does get picked up in slim, slim, slim chances, will be on that earth. 
of Superman Lois, but I think if Superman Lois gets renewed, it's probably for HBO Max or Max as it's called now because the CW just doesn't want to pay for shows. They just don't want to pay the high licensing fees for like these properties. So I just don't see them renewing Superman Lois in its current form. But you know, Max might look and go, hey, that's pretty cool. We could do something with that. Though the chances for that is still very, very, very slim in regards to Justice U potentially being a show. So the chances of you know, doing something around Diggle going forward, I think would maybe be if Superman Lois gets renewed for season four, then maybe he appears in that fourth season on HBO Max. And I think even I was going to say this in another video, potentially it wouldn't surprise me. I wouldn't put money on it, but it wouldn't shock me if Superman Lois, if it's renewed on HBO Max for season four, gets some actors on there. Like wouldn't surprise me too much if The Flash appeared on there because it's Warner Brothers. It's all in-house. There's no licensing fees and stuff like that from the CW. So mm, that wouldn't shock me too much if that was the case. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, it'd be awesome. You could drop a like on the show support. Let me know in the comment section down below your various opinions and all the stuff we went over this video. Always curious to read what you guys are thinking. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.